This time on Dog Strip, it's the big one, the BC Gambler 500. For us, it's a mad dash to get our rig ready for the 500 kilometer back road rally for beater cars. For this gambler event, we spent a winter building Project Dreadnought, a 1964 Cadillac Fleetwood mounted to a motorhome chassis. Feel free to take a look at our older videos if you want to see how this rig was slammed together. So here we are, before the gambler event is a mad dash to get everything done. This right here is the first time Dreadnought has ever moved under its own power. Once up and down the street is good enough for us. Let us remind you, at this point the Cadillac nor the RV has ever driven more than a block. So here starts the gamble. A three hour drive from home to the Gambler 500 start location. All right, ready. Let's get on. Ready, 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 that's better than tetanus. Yes, it's also eight times bigger than tetanus. However much you think is in front of us, there's twice as much behind us. Yeah. I'm gonna have a mirror, I guess. Oh, it's manual. There's no way I can reach that. There's <laughs> <laughs> another time zone back there. Yeah. Oh, the tires, a little, you can hear the tires. Yeah. The lanes of this road are so tiny. Brakes, brakes, brakes are there. There. They're there. Okay. They're present. They're brakeish. There is important. I'd like to point out the green vehicle following us. This is my father in his 1952 Willys truck. This is the actual truck he learned to drive in some 50 years prior. It has been a long-term restoration project and was finally back on the road earlier this year. We're sad to say we don't have much footage of it due to the events about to happen. So we have developed our first of probably many problems. Uh, going up a hill, it got hot, and all of a sudden, there's a small hole in our engine. You can probably hear that. The choke on the factory carburetor is triggered by the EGR uh, recirc, and that's been bypassed. The previous owner blocked it off. And so who knows what that was done with and when it was done with, but it has blown through. So there's now a hole in our intake manifold right under the carburetor, the size of my pinky. And whenever you drop on it, you get to hear this. That too. Wee. For those of you that wanted to see the hole in the engine, here it is. Laying on the intake manifold, we found what the previous owner used to plug the hole, a 2006 nickel and JB Weld. And of course, this is what it sounds like. As we carry on, Dreadnought continued to run poorly, slow, burning black smoke, easing into the throttle to prevent stalling. Regardless, we made the 200 kilometer trip and arrived at the Gambler start point of Thunder Mountain Raceway. Now we set up camp and go to bed. With a near freezing wake up call, it's time to start a new day. Stir those engines and head up over the nearest hill to the driver's meeting. A day of adventure lays ahead of us. <laughs> it's only the first hill. It's only. Let's try some choke. We cannot start on a hill. To make a long story short, that was the end of our 2022 BC Gambler run. He's doing really strange things to automobiles that are illegal in some states. We fought with the carburetor for hours, but we could not get the secondaries to work. We could get Dreadnought to idle, but she wouldn't move. Update 174. Now, as you may remember or know from the last video, Dale and Norm helped save our ass last year by bringing tools. 
guess what? They brought tools again this year. Thankfully. We want to take this moment to acknowledge Dale and Norm for driving Kevin into town so we could get a new carburetor. They gave up their gambler run as well to be amazing friends. Thank you so much. At least while being broken down, our campsite was a prime location. Being on the driveway into Gambler Town, we got to see some pretty cool rigs drive by. For those of you that don't know, the Gambler is a 500 kilometer back road rally for beater cars. This is a navigational challenge, not a race. Participants are given a list of waypoints to follow and are encouraged to pick up trail trash as they go. You ever want to have the best time of your life? Gambler 500. So after a two hour drive in the town and back from town, thanks to our great friends Norm and Dale, we have discovered a new carburetor. So let's hope that Kevin's uh, cake mix batter will help solve some of the issues. Just throw money at it. We believe success. Victory at last. The moment we get over the hill, we go straight to the mud bogs, the proving grounds, it would seem, for those returning gambler vehicles. Oh, let's do Justin. Justin! You done did fucked up. Oh. Here, let me let me get that corner window no. for you. No way! <laughs> no way! With most of the day wasted fixing Dreadnought, vehicles are now coming back to camp. Naturally, we fell into the role of recovery tow rig as these rolling wrecks were given their final thrashing through the mud box. Rev limiters always sound like, no, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I never thought about it before, but you're not wrong. <laughs> no, no, no! Okay, so what have we got in here under the hood? The 502? 460. Ford? Yep. Really? Okay, see, now I'm disappointed. Okay, your duct tape didn't stick. And your truck's smoking. That's bad. So you want us to put your car on the side? Scrap. Are you legally saying that we can tip your car on the side? Okay, we need manpower, human power. Let's go. Good. 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 Good.
Finally, Dreadnought found its stride, and we couldn't be happier. Good girl. <laughs> Now let us tell you a tale of the little Civic that almost could. This is our neighbor's car and due to mechanical issues this thing is gutless. After multiple feeble attempts we all head back to camp to make things better. Oh, she's five pounds lighter now. Right. You anticipated that to be harder. Weight reduction is like a Formula One car. And by make things better we ignore the obvious mechanical issues and go straight to the Sawzall. Clearly, bigger tires will make this better. A fender deletes and jacking the suspension high to enjoy the smooth, rock-solid ride of BC Timber. Meanwhile, as more gamblers return to camp, things become entertaining. <laughs> From this point forward, the Civic seemed to be open for use by anyone in camp, trying again and again to get a little further through the mud, and time and time again dragged up.
Oh, look who's back. When they built this Civic, they forgot to put in the quit. And then you got cocky, didn't you, Dan? And that was the end of Saturday. Come Sunday morning, we walk about Gambler Camp at the crack of dawn. Somewhat creepy without a sign of life. Reminiscent of a battlefield. Gambler vehicles dead. Lying in a spot where they breathe their last. As everyone packs up and gets ready to head home, the Klein is having issues. It seems someone topped up the tank with diesel. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's what's the mix? More gas, diesel? Oh, that's greasy. There's diesel in there. Trying. Try harder. All great things come to an end. Sadly, that is the Gambler 2022 in the bag. This has been awesome. Well done, guys. With that, we are all loaded up and start the long, sad journey home. We are happy to report Dreadnought ran great and got us home in style. Now, we must contemplate if we're going to keep the Cadillac or build something new for next year. And with that comes the end of the BC Gambler 500 2022. Not all things went perfect, but most things went awesome. Yes. When you gamble, you don't always win. So we didn't actually do the rally itself, but you know what? We had fun in camp. Dreadnought finally found its stride. Yep. We had a fantastic time. Thank you for everyone that organized the event, everyone that arrived. We made it home. Time to have a shower and go to bed. Until next time. Cheers. Next time on Dog Strip, we get a tent trailer. We drag out the hamster and go on a camping adventure, wandering from wreck site to wreck site, clearly not making any friends while crawling up the steep hills. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing.